Hello there, welcome to another video about RA Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Sway, which is a new app from Microsoft Office that makes it easy to create and share interactive reports, newsletters, personal stories, presentations, and so much more. Before I continue, please like, subscribe, and share. Okay, what we have opened in front of us is Microsoft Sway. Now you can access Microsoft Sway by going to Office 365 on your web browser, logging in with your credentials, and then going to Microsoft Sway um, in one in the apps option. Now, when when you log into Sway, you will see this screen in front of you. It will have a title, Welcome to Sway. Then you will see three options here: Create New. Um, where you can create a sway from scratch. Um, you can start a sway from a topic, which is the second option here. And then the third option here, if I hover over it, you can start a sway from a Word document, PowerPoint, or a PDF document here. At the top left hand corner here, you can see the, um, the waffle icon here. If you go and click on the waffle icon, it will take you to the main Microsoft Office 365 um, page where you can access all the different apps here. Um, so I want to go back to Sway, so I'll click on the waffle, go to all apps here because it's not in the most common apps here. And then from the um, all apps option, I will go down to where it says Sway, which is here, which will take me to the Sway screen here. The second option here where it says Sway, that will just simply take you back to this home page where you see the sway title there so you've got your three options create new start from topic start from a document there the top right hand corner you can create a new a sway here a blank sway there and there's some tutorials here where you can watch videos uh, about sway from microsoft if i click onto the tutorials um, option it will take you to the Microsoft Sway page where you can access a variety of different tutorials on Sway there. If I click on this tab here then you got the three ellipsis icon here the three dots um, if you click on that it will open up a drop down menu where again you can create a new blank Sway there's a help option there you can sign out from your account there as well. So that's just a bit of navigation for um, to access Sway. Now below the three options here, you can start a Sway from a template. So you've got different options, internal newsletter, resume, business um, presentation, portfolio, DIY project. If you click on this right arrow here, it will take you to lots of different options. Now you've got a blog here, very um, common nowadays, presentations there so on and so forth you can choose and again there's some inspirational templates here from Sway themselves where you can choose um, different inspirational templates to start your Sway. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to an, the internal newsletter option but because what I'm going to do in this video is show you how to start a sway from a template so let's choose an internal newsletter and all you simply do here is click on the internal newsletter option like this then it will load the template as is now it will show you the title the background now what all you simply do to access this newsletter scroll down and you can see where you can add the options for your newsletter there so just keep scrolling down you can see the, the the different headings and subheadings which you can change to edit this newsletter this template you click on this button here at the bottom it says start editing this sway click on that and now it will prepare your template so it will take you to the design or the editor page where you can see the canvas in front of you and then you can start making your changes now it's a bit of trial and error if it's the first time you've used it a bit of practice to help you get on your way of creating your very first newsletter so what i'm going to do is create my ra solutions now this will 
uh, come up from time to time this ref refresh page all you simply do is click on refresh to refresh the page um, and it, sometimes it will um, make the changes straight away other times it might take a little bit longer so I'm going to type in RA solutions in there like that now if you're not happy with this background image which, which it currently is showing um, before I get to the background image what you can do with this font as well by the way you can uh, change the style of the font you can change the emphasis of the font here change the accent here uh, you can make that font into a link by clicking the link button here but at, and it, it will ask you what is the web link you want that title to go to here you put the link in there click on OK I'm not going to do that for this video now if you want to change this background what you do is click on the arrow on the left of details and it will open the background section up here now I want to change that background so unfortunately you can't just swap the image you'll have to change or delete um, let me just click on details again um, click on this image here to delete it so you delete this card from sway so it will then it will give you the option to add a different background so add a background to this heading yes please click on that then we it will open up this suggested box here now you, what you can do is you can choose an image already um, a, a selected image from the Sway catalog there now just incidentally um, the, this search is powered by Bing YouTube or Wikipedia now the options which will come up you can choose uh, whether you want Creative Commons images videos so on and so forth which is obviously um, will help you with copyright but again be warned which whichever image video you choose make sure you check the um, um, copyright on that whether it's Creative Commons or not you can add content from your device here with this button or you can simply add it from your OneDrive if your OneDrive is linked to your device what I'm going to do is search for a keyboard here so I'm going to type in the word keyboard in the search box click on enter and it's going to go back and search for um, example keyboards It's brought back here now you can see here Creative Commons is checked so because I only want Creative Commons images to come back you can choose videos here if you want um, videos to come back but I'm going to stick with images here once you're happy with the image I will like this top right one here click on that and then simply click on add and it will add it back over here into the details bit here so that's me adding my background and this is my heading done now scroll down I can add a bit of a summary here um, so this is the test a test like oops and again this will pop up now and again so be ready to click on refresh go back here this is a test and then you can start changing the information on the different cards there what other thing you will notice here is you see this insert content button here this plus button you can add different types of content within your newsletter so if you want to add further sections to your newsletter you can do by clicking on this um, add button here you can add headings text images stacks a section for uploading inserting things from your device um, click on this section here again specifically to do with text here media specifically to do with media options there images videos audio you can embed things in there again upload um, files and then you can change the, the, the layout so you can have a grid layout in that section automatic so on and so forth but it's it's the whole purpose behind this video is to get you used to using Sway uh, so that's something to for you to play around with there and then you go through now this one here I want to embed a YouTube video let's for example say now it's got some default co code in there which and I can clearly see here it's iframe embed code here so one thing I want to do maybe one thing you might want to do is embed a YouTube video the way to embed a YouTube video within here is to find the YouTube video in the first place here's one I opened up earlier now from here 
uh, to embed this video, you, it's not a case of just simply copying and pasting the link here. What you need to do is go down to the share icon here, click on the share icon. It will give you an option to embed, uh, giving you the embed link. So click on embed there. Now from the embed link, it'll open this pop up here. You need to copy this code, right click copy, then go back to the tab where your newsletter is, which is there. Double click on the original um, code, right click paste. So your new YouTube code, embed code has been pasted. And then you can change the various different topics again to um, change the, 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 the text again change the text here you can make it into bullet points numbered lists accents emphasis or whatever you can add a link in there make that text into a link so on and so forth and you can keep going you, you, if you don't want that card this challenges bit you can delete it by clicking on this bin icon here and it will delete the card from your sway it might delete you don't want the opportunities one you can delete that you don't want upcoming events um, let's say can delete that you can delete this one uh, so on and so forth <laughs> so I'm deleting everything um, as we say so we've got two topics topic one and topic two uh, what's new here uh, with my video being displayed background let's add a background to that section there oh look there's a what's new um, image I like quite look the, um, like the look of that add that into my template um, X on that so this is what it looks like at the moment. I'm happy with that. Let's see what it looks like. Now before, um, yeah, so what we're gonna do, we're in storyline mode at the moment here, at the top left hand corner, but let's go to design mode here. So in the design mode, it will show you what, a, it will give you a little bit of a preview of the newsletter. So you can see exactly what it looks like. And then you can go back to storyline mode, mode if you're not happy with this as it is to make further changes. If we move to the top right hand corner, we can see we can change the colors, textures and fonts, um, but there is a styles icon which has appeared. Click on there. Now, you, there's three different styles to your um, sway. At the moment, we're on the vertical style at the moment, going from top to bottom like this, but you can choose horizontal. Now, if you choose horizontal, what it will do, it will add two cursors at the bottom, a right button and a left button. So you could go from left to right. So at the moment, we're on, on the most left hand side. Click on the right button. It will take you to the next page and the next page, so on and so forth. And you get the idea and you can have a slides option as well. So if you click on slides option and again, it will show you two buttons. You can swipe left to right like that in there there you have it next what we do is we can have we can customize us where we custom colors uh, topography and textures click on customize and then we could choose specific text within there um, and that's something for you to play around with um, let's choose red um, let's say that's my um, my color scheme so if, um, somewhat and once we're happy with that color scheme click on the X there and then click on styles again to go if we want to change it further we can choose a different one from here um, I quite like this oh you can choose different ones here I quite like that one let's choose that one there we go I'm liking that at the moment and then what we can also do remember these navigation buttons at the bottom you go from left to right that looks a lot better look at that brilliant and then we can play our way um, so making it more interactive and then to go from left to right remember the navigation button on the bottom right hand corner and it will take you to the next page the next page so on and so forth it just makes your newsletters um, or whatever document that much um, interactive and engaging for the audience and that, that's the end button there. And oh yes, I just clicked on the bullet point list and you can see that gives you a little bit of a story mode for your sway. Let's go back to the edit um, page again. Edit my sway here, at the top right hand corner here, look. 
and it will take you to the edit page. So we were in play mode, we've come out of play mode now, we're back to the design mode. Now further, um, before we finish this one, this video obviously is about um, starting us away from a template. Uh, my next one will be focusing on creating a sway from a blank document. So if we click on share here, you can share this way with people. Um, you can post this link here. Now before you share, you can select or give them permissions to either edit this way here. And that will be the link to edit. This will be the link to view. I strongly recommend you make sure the view link is selected because you don't want anybody editing your sway unless they're collaborating with you or making changes with you. So you click on this clipboard here to copy that link and then you paste that link in an email um, or you can tweet it here, you can send it via Facebook, you can send it via LinkedIn or you can embed it in a website. So if you've got a, your own website and you wanna embed this sway, again, you can get the embed code here remember that's the iframe code and you can embed it on a specific website you can copy that to the clipboard and paste it on your specific website still on the top right hand corner here click on the ellipsis icon here and there's more options for you there you there's you can see all your sways by clicking on this option here you can create a new sway from blank you can duplicate the sway, so you can make a copy of this sway that you've made, you can print it, you can export the sway. Now the export button, if I click on that, you can export it as a Word document, a PDF document there. Um, if I export it as a PDF document, I just wanna show you for this video what it looks like. It's exporting that sway as a PDF. This is a cool feature within um, Microsoft Sway. It will download it, look at the bottom right, left hand corner because I'm using Google Chrome and this is what my sway looks like. So it's like a, it is a PDF document of your internal newsletter. So remember that was my um, first page with my title and then we had the two topics there with my embed code there. Obviously it's not gonna play the video in a PDF document so you know. Refresh that page and it will refresh back to the design or the storyline mode if you go back to the ellipsis again, go back to um, export. Um, this time let's export it as a Word document. It's exporting that way as a Word document now. So it will take a few moments. Again, it's downloaded the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Click on um, the, the, the Word icon which is opened up. Click on enable editing so you can see exactly what it looks like in Word. So that's what it looks like in Word. So that's been exported. So go back to my Sway and click on the ellipsis tool again. You can change the settings for this Sway. Click on the settings page. You could change the language here. Um, so you can choose English United Kingdom because that's where I'm from. Uh, show the text direction buttons. Again, use right to left layout. You can change whatever settings you want in here to make it easier for you to use. Um, go back to the ellipsis button again accessibility checker to see it's accessible for people with additional learning needs um, again accessibility view help um, obviously if you've got specific help to do with um, sway you can check it out in there but what I will say is for you to have a play with sway see what you can do with it this is my very first video on using Microsoft sway um, obviously in this video we just focused on using sway from a template um, but I will do some more videos later on. Uh, but I hope this video has helped you. Please like, subscribe and share.